going on everybody it's your boy Brian daddy coming at you with another video today we're gonna go ahead and play wrath of the lich king classic and the only reason we're doing it is to get a mountain retail <laughs> so if so if you complete the direct the death knight starting area you will get a mount in retail so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys a little short guide video on how to get it done and get the mount all right let's get to it so I did edit and uh, speed up a lot of portions of this video it's a pretty simple process Wrath of the Lich King it's it's easy to level up the Death Knight starting area is pretty easy it's all self-explanatory I'm not gonna go too much into detail if you want, you can download one add-on, like Questy, and that kind of helps guide you through. But uh, for the most part, you will see where I pick up every quest and how I finish it. And yeah, it's pretty simple. And at the end, you'll see uh, the mount that you get from it. Uh, I try to keep this video short and sweet, like I do with all of them. Yeah, I don't want to keep you guys in here for too long, but overall, it did take me about an hour and a half to level. I think that I wasn't as efficient as... You know, somebody probably could be. You could probably get it done in an hour. Uh, it might take you two hours. You know, it just depends on how fast you level. Um, yeah, just make sure you're always equipping your gear upgrades as soon as you get them. And yeah, just uh, try to be as quick and efficient as you possibly can. Um, many people might already have this whole Death Knight quest line done because they play Wrath Classic. Uh, you know, it's just popular. A lot of people have been playing World of Warcraft Classic, and not as many in retail. But if you haven't done it, it's pretty simple. Like I said, it takes about an hour and a half. You'll be wrapped up real quick. Um, yeah. I, I, part of me wanted to come back and play World of Warcraft uh, Classic. I played when it initially came out, and then when Burning Crusade came out. It, I just don't have the time commitment anymore, right? And that's kind of the thing. With these classic versions of the game, it takes a lot longer, you know, to level up. It takes a lot longer to do everything. And it's just not as appealing to me anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. If I find the right people that want to enjoy it, I'll I'll do it. But, uh, you know, there's so many video games out nowadays that it just feels tough to even ded dedicate time to one. But I am excited for Dragonflight, and I'm hoping that it can be that one game that I can dedicate the time to again, because I have, like, over a year playtime you know, on this game. And I honestly, that's, like, rookie numbers compared to <laughs> a lot of people since it's been out for 18 years, and I have one year of playtime. That's, like, nothing, right? <laughs> In the lifespan of the game. But it is actually a lot of time, you know, when you think about it. Anyways, I hope uh, everybody's having a fantastic day today. It was actually up where I'm at, up here in the Midwest of the United States. It was beautiful today. It was about 50 degrees outside. You know, I went outside, got some some nice sun, got a good amount of sleep today, so I'm feeling good. You guys, let me know down in the comments what you uh what you've been up to today, and if you're excited to get into Dragonflight, because I know I am. I am ready to step foot down the Dragon Isles and and try out the new expansion. There's gonna be uh, loads and loads of new stuff. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be fun. Hey man, the launch of a WoW expansion is always a good time, you know? And it's just like, it's almost like a reset, you know? Like, hey, we're all, we're all trash again. We all gotta get geared up and learn everything again, but the problem is with WoW, since there's always so many alphas and betas and PTRs, is that anyone and everyone can master the game, you know, and especially since it's become a profession for players to be the best in the world at raiding, best in the world at PvP, you know, everyone crunches the numbers to the 0.01%, which makes it so freaking hard to develop this game. I would never want to be a World of Warcraft Blizzard developer, ever, because, like I said, you can please everybody, and I can't even imagine how difficult that is. 
and uh, I appreciate all their hard work for real. I know they had some tough times over these past two years, and I'm hoping that they come out of this ten times stronger than they were before, and uh, really increase their values as a company and turn it around. All right, let's uh, let's get back into the the video here. Let's see. We just picked up a quest from Prince Kelta Kelseth. It comes on down here. You pick it up from him and Baron. They're gonna have you go slaughter some more people over here at the Scarlet Keep. You do that, clear out these guys. They're gonna give you uh, helmets too as well. Oh, if they don't evade bug on you. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll keep moving along. Yeah, if you can use the ghouls to help you kill that too, that'll help out. Once you wrap that up, come back down here, turn them in. Mm -mm. He's going to give you another quest. Bing, that's going to have you come back. And now you have these uh, items that you get out of this little box here. They're pokers, and <laughs> basically torture pokers. You're going to have to keep hitting guys until one of them finally decides that they don't want to be tortured. He gives up the information that you need. So you just do that. And uh, he basically tells you that, you know, there's this certain spy or whatever, and you got to find out who it is so you go back down there turn it in he's gonna have you go to another i also you want to do this north quest as well at the same time i didn't do it at the same time which made it made me take longer which has you come down underneath this inn pick up a cauldron and pick up a chain from the blacksmith and that'll let you uh finish the cauldron that he's working on so you do that Bada bing, bada boom. And now you can turn skulls in for potions to <laughs> give yourself runic power and health. Kind of messed up, but hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Come back down to Prince Kelseth. He's going to give you a quest that does tell you to head to this area to chat with good old Orbaz Bloodbane. I'm going to keep it real with you. A lot of quest givers, I don't even look at their name, you know. I try my best to get into the wild lore and, like, care about stuff. But I only really know, you know, the big hitters. You know, and, the, and WoW has done a lot better of a job now here in retail of storytelling. In Wrath, it was good storytelling as well because, obviously, everybody loved Arthas and the Lich King. And, they, you know, that was big for Warcraft 3. But uh, it really kind of... After that, with Cataclysm and Pandaria, you know, they just started losing everybody. But then, they picked up Legion. And Legion is when you could really tell they were going ham with the, the storytelling and all the class order halls and stuff like that. So, I'm looking forward to the story in Dragonflight, seeing if it's going to be pretty interesting. So yeah, you come down here in the basement of this inn, and you uh, hang out with this Death Knight homie in his bubble and kill all the guys that come down here pretty easy then you head back up and you knock out this uh, Roderick Scarlet Commander steal his book head on back turn him in pretty easy and then you're gonna head on over and chat with this guy he's gonna have you go murder a, a human from your past to show you are worthy of being a death knight again kind of mess up <laughs> you'll head back turn it in then you're gonna basically get this courier to come think you're a tree <laughs> kill the courier steal his stuff and now you're gonna be able to dress up as the courier as you infiltrate the base and go say that you're you're just a cool little human boy hey how's it going you head on back now they know everything that they're gonna do all their plans you have successfully infiltrated and you're gonna head back there's actually a death knight gate up top don't do what I did and almost leave without it <laughs> turn it into Dorian Morgrain and then he's gonna have you go chat with the Lich King and Hop on the frost worm and start annihilating everybody. 
this quest is pretty fun. You just kill the ballistas, you kill the people, and then if you get low on energy, you can go down and eat somebody and get you more mana. Not energy, but hey. Alrighty, come on down here, you scoop up all the A-bombs, AOE them down, make sure you drag them back to the other Death Knight NPCs, it'll help out, kill them a lot faster. And then you grab big boy Patchwork, drag him back there as well, and yeah, GG easy. After you're done with that, it's gonna have you go turn in. I was just saying thank you to the guy I grouped up with. He uh, helped me kill him. Bing, bada, boom. Leveled up again. And there you go. You are all wrapped up. Take the portal to your respective town. Walk through town while everybody spits on you and throws apples at you. And you are complete. All done. <laughs> And now you can uh, head over to retail and see your reward. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of it here. There it is. The Frostbound Proto Worm. I just wrapped, unwrapped it. You get it in a little wrapped gift box. It's got a cool little cast there. And look at that. Pretty sick. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!